So I'm sitting there watching one of my recent speeches that I did on my YouTube channel. A little plug here. I want to say that if you haven't already subscribed, like, comment, you know, to the whole thing. You know, you know the spell. But most importantly, what I took away from this gig is most of the time when I get off of the stage, I take my mic off, I give it to the AV, I'm at the airport, I'm gone. Right? Every now and then I get the opportunity to interact with people that were in the audience and get to understand what they took away from my time on stage. What a lot of you probably have learned about me is I actually love interacting with people because I feel a lot of things that I have learned, a lot of things that I still carry with me is because of those interactions that I get to have with people. So from this event, I'm hugging a wall. Don't, you gotta watch the video to understand why. But from this event, I actually had the opportunity to interact with some people. And not only was it a powerful conversation for me, I'm hoping that it will impact you as well. So check out the video. Let me know what you think. Where I am right now is light. That light is you. Your light shines on everything here because God loves you. Thank you. I want to tell you, I love you, brother. Thank you, man. I appreciate you be well. that. Thank Great. you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. You'll be well. Thank you, JR. You are such an inspiration. Yeah, thank you, brother. I appreciate that, man. Thank you so thank much. You. Thank you. No, man, thank you for your service, brother. Thank you so thank much. You. Thank you, man. We, God bless you, brother. God we bless were, you. We were in Iraq at the same time. I was, I was supposed to get out January of 03. Um, got stop lost and you know, you look back and it's like, you know what, actually, it, it helped you. Yeah. It was, it was, it was a crappy experience. But that's the key to life, it. right? It's like every everything in life is going to have its moments of negative that you're like, ah, oh, you know, these moments, right? But there's, you got to find ways to mentally work through all that shit and find Good. the fruit, the sweetness of it all. And that's what you build on. It takes a lot of pause. It takes a lot of self-reflection, a lot of self-awareness. Finding those people that are gonna say, hey Kyle, it's good man, let's talk. And you can try to use people as a soundboard. If you're willing to pause in that space in those moments, you're able to navigate all the nonsense and the stuff that you don't, didn't like about the situation and get to the beauty. And then you extract that, and before you know it, you got a bottle of good wine. <laughs> You know what I mean? Something that you can yeah. sit back and enjoy and actually say, ah, this hits the palate differently, right? And we're not taught the importance of pausing. I'm too busy mentally to meditate. Like, that's just not the way my mind works. And I go on walks, man, by myself. Like, and I just stay with myself, stay with my thoughts, marinate on that stuff. And then that's the stuff that I think for me allows me to continue to find ways to show up when days when I'm like, I don't want to show up. And I can't show up at 100% JR. I can only show up at 70% JR. And it's me trying to figure out why, where's that other 30? And when I pause and when I have that moments of self-reflection, I realize this is what triggered me. And you start to kind of learn, all right, navigate this stuff a little differently next time, you know? Awesome. I enjoyed that. Uh, thank you so much, man. Really I appreciate inspiring. that. Thank you. Thank nice you so much. Hey, thank you. Thank you for taking that picture. Thanks for being here. Thank you. No, thanks for having me. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. No, you guys I'm were. I'm not sure what to expect. I said, well, these guys, he they just, they just told this story. That's yeah. What you do. Yeah, well, you know, and it's like you realize, and I think that's the key, right? Like for so many of us, whatever it is that we do in life, we tend to like overthink it and think. Sure. How am I gonna get on this stage and like Public speaking make this isn't impact? Hard. You just gotta tell your story. You just gotta like un honestly be organic and right. authentic to who you are, what you are, and people will receive that for what it is. And so I know you mentioned the guys that were with you in the vehicle when the when you mm -hmm. ran over the bomb. Do you stay in touch with them or have you connected so, with them? So one of them I have not spoken okay. to. Um, the other two I have connected okay. with. Um, one of them more than the other. So for so many years on the fifth of April, I was always by myself. Right? Like I didn't have any connection with the guys. Leadership getting on to me, giving me a briefing about how we are bonded and always gonna be together and look after one another forever. And yet when I was injured, no one was there. Right. And I felt abandoned by my team. And I was like, oh, all that was talk. And I would look around me at the hospital when I was visiting patients and I would see people from their unit come and visit them. Yeah. Even if it was for a weekend. You know, like, yeah. and I was like, so it's hard to see that. It's hard to see that, yeah. right? And so I developed a lot of resentment towards guys on my team. And every 5th of April, I was like, I'm, I'm experiencing this by myself. 
And then finally when I reconnected with them and they started to tell me how they deal with that day, what it did to them, I'm like, oh, it, like it allowed me to have a little bit more compassion and empathy. And they were like, we didn't know what to say. We still remember, we still remember hearing you fighting for your life. And, and I was able to show up differently for them. We're, we're, we're fighting different demons, yeah. sure. but we're fighting. And at the end of the day, we're fighting them together, man. And so we were now starting to talk about post-traumatic stress you know, disorder, PTSD, and, right. you know, and really getting people to understand that, that this is real. And um, this is something that a lot of vets deal with, not just from this, these conflicts, but conflicts from the past and part of our history that you know that, yeah and honestly I mean it's not just combat right like right. I mean people deal with trauma just because they got into a car accident you know or whatever and so you know well I feel for you three years in the hospital is a long time I when I was a senior in high school I had a foot injury that got infected and mm -hmm. I was in a hospital for a month straight in Wichita Kansas mm. I thought that was a lifetime it was kind of it was month of December basically right during basketball <laughs> I thought, you know, my life is over. Exactly. <laughs> and here you are. Here I am.